I'm Scott Peterson. I'm the Chief Human Resources Officer at the Schwann Food Company, and I'm here with Dr. Ed Ellinger, the Commissioner for Health for the State of Minnesota, and many other leaders in the public and private sector. We're here to lend our full support to Governor Bitten's proclamation declaring 2014 to be the year of worksite wellness in the state of Minnesota. This concept actually grew out of an idea from the Alliance for Healthier Minnesota and its strong collaboration with Minnesota's Department of Health. Together they convened more than 70 health organizations last November, discussed a range of issues focused on how to improve health within the state. The year of worksite wellness was a result of that. Scott, and good morning, everyone. And Scott, thank you for your, your leadership in this, and, and welcome to the State Capital Rotunda. This program really benefits businesses. It helps them to manage their health care costs, it benefits in insurance, and providing a great return on investment. It also helps to reduce overall health care costs. It increases productivity, it reduces absenteeism, it improves you know, employee morale and recruitment and retention, it improves the customer experience, it improves the overall health of the community. That we have a proclamation from the governor with all of the usual whereases, but uh, just a couple of whereases. Whereas Minnesotans spend nearly half of their working hours at their jobs, and employees who participate in worksite wellness programs in, enjoy better health and a higher quality of life. And whereas businesses with worksite wellness efforts benefit from greater productivity, decreased absenteeism, reduced health care costs, and a greater likelihood of attracting and retaining employees. And whereas workplace wellness is a growing movement with 87% of Minnesota workplaces interested in improving wellness and 23% of workplaces currently offering worksite wellness efforts, therefore, I, Mark Dayton, Governor of Minnesota, do hereby proclaim the year of 2014 as the year of worksite wellness. Go out and make your workplaces as healthy as possible. Thanks for being here, and let's work together through the course of this next year has had a uh, workforce wellness program, but the legislature has been slow to come on board. And some of my colleagues are here joining me and will be addressing you shortly just to show that we also have a commitment and that we need to be rolling. I'm happy to have you all here and I'm happy to have this partnership and I hope that we will be offering more opportunities um, for ourselves because we can do a better job for our constituents if we're also healthy. Thank you. So uh, I'm kind of a fitness freak. I've gotten into triathlons and I'm kind of doing quite a bit of uh, uh, cross-training, and but uh, I think uh, this Fit Minnesota and uh, having the corporate partners and the legislature and the, the governor's office and just having everybody uh, thinking about these things and doing uh, right by Minnesota, I, I particularly am really excited about having a business community uh, interested and taking an active part in trying to make everybody's life uh, uh, better. As we have healthier employees, we will have more productive employees. We don't compete against Minneapolis and St. Paul anymore. We compete against St. Minnesota and China, Minnesota and Bangalore. And if we can't be more productive, we will lose that particular race. And part of that productivity is healthy employees. But I can tell you, uh, one year ago, uh, I weighed 80 pounds more. And uh, uh, I needed a goal. That goal wasn't necessarily to lose 80 pounds. It was to run a 5K in September of last year, uh, which seemed, frankly, like an absolute impossible. I did that in September. I, I did the Mayo Heritage 5K in the, a little later on that year in the Turkey Trot in Rochester uh, Thanksgiving Day. And if anybody wants to do the Valentine thing uh, next weekend, uh, 2008, when we were pursuing um, funding for the statewide health improvement program, SHIP, which I bet a lot of you know about, I remember going to New Hope to talk with a group of people about it, and they all looked aghast as I, as a legislator, was talking about how we need to tackle the uh, epidemic of obesity in Minnesota, and I realized uh, that people weren't clear about what we were going to do, so I promised I wouldn't come with a caliper, that I wasn't going to be doing any measurement of anybody's index. Um, but uh, we do need to continue to pursue this issue, um, and it is one that comes from each of us, from our communities, our towns, um, and even policy. -makers. My day job is, is a hog farmer, and so I get to keep in shape by lifting 35-pound uh, uh, feeder pigs. And that's not a challenge to make your omnibus bills 35 pounds, so just keep those, <laughs> keep those under that. Uh, it's it's a, this is one of those opportunities that uh, that's, it's really such an obvious thing that it can bring bring everybody together, bipartisan, 
uh, you know, business and labor and employees, and I think just the obvious uh, healthcare uh, cost benefits. Again, talking about those omnibus bills and seeing the uh, uh, HHS bill and and things like that grow and grow, and and that's only going to continue if we don't find a way to uh, uh, keep ourselves and and our neighbors in in a better physical condition. And so we created a the CEO pledge. And what we want to do is create more forward-thinking employers like Schwann's and like Dakota Electric who are, who are going to invest in their employee wellness. And the CEO pledge is an evidence-based strategy that is where it's free, but a CEO is committing to taking action in the workplace to help employees achieve better wellness. Uh, our goal with the CEO pledge is to have the most employers and most CEOs of any state in the country uh, be part of the CEO pledge. We're going to try to make that happen here in 2014. And uh, we hope that in Minnesota, the CEOs, employers, and our lawmakers can lead the country in reversing our unhealthy tipping point. Thank you. This public-private partnership that we're launching today uh, creates a unique opportunity to leverage resources across Minnesota that support employers as they create work environments that support their employees' health. Through the statewide health improvement program, our local public health partners have been working with employers in their communities to start or improve worksite wellness efforts in their communities, in their organizations. We do this by making healthy choices more available to more people. And worksite wellness is a perfect example of this philosophy. 